Here we go. Into flight school. Let's see what this is about. Training takeoff. Learn how to fly. Let's just get straight into it. Welcome to flight school. My name is Jackson with a J. <laughs> and I'll be your instructor. Jackson with a J. First things first. Let's see if we can get you into the air without. Alright, that's pretty Come simple. Take off. It's hardly rocket sense. 3, 2, 1, go. Training takeoff. We're gonna start with a basic takeoff. R2 to accelerate, yep. Hold the throttle all the way down to pick up speed and pull back on the stick to take off. Hail the control you pitch. Retract your landing gear once you're a safe distance above the ground. Yeah, retract the wheels. It's L3. Congratulations, pilot! You are now airborne. Uh, now, that was pretty simple. Whoa. Marked on your radar, Whoa. And we can move on to the next Yeah, losing control here. Get it back on track. That was a good oh, start. just missed gold. Well done. Oh, flying went up to 40. That's good. Training takeoff, pretty simple, but gotta start with the basics. I've already done a mission involving flying, so this is a. Uh, bit silly if we only got silver for that we could redo it but I think I'll move on to runway landing learn how to safely land let's do it now I'm gonna have you attempt a safe landing on the runway you won't have many chances to get this wrong so please follow my instructions yeah very if you get that wrong you're pretty much dead <laughs> the plane blows up this is gonna be a bit more difficult just a tad. So start reducing the plane's altitude gradually so you're just above the runway as you approach. Be sure to deploy Boy, the landing gear. We should be slower here. Runway. Should be decelerating more. L2 to decelerate. Coming in a bit of an angle there. Oh, I'm gonna straighten when it. When you touch down, continue to apply the brakes carefully Brick. until you come to a complete stop. Brick. Try to land as close as you can to the checkpoint marked on the runway. Make a turn with the L1 and, and R2. Like a pro. Now let's get the plane off the runway. Taxi over to the marked area. L1 and, and R1. To a complete stop. Whoa, overshot. <laughs> For some reason, I sped up there instead of braking. Out of bounds. Try again. So it's L1 and R1 to turn when you're on the ground. It's also for nudge turning as well in the air. You can nudge right and nudge left. Start reducing the plane's altitude gradually. It's kind of a more controlled turn. You Be sure to deploy the landing gear sort of nudge it like this. The, runway. the rudders, I think they call them. Uh, slightly too fast there. When you touch it, continue to apply the brakes carefully. Until yes, you yes, we know. Stop. Try to land as close as there you can. Much better. Much marked better. on the runway. I'll just turn it. Executed like a pro. Now let's get the plane off the runway. Taxi over to the marked area. Uh, we're going to miss gold, are we? Stop. stop, 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 stop. Oh, we just missed gold again. Well, that was an excellent land. By one second. Very well done. That's twice we've missed gold by one second or less. You have to kind of be a bit faster, uh, take a bit more risk. It's not that hard to get gold. I'll probably go back later, I won't bore you by doing them now. So what's this one? I didn't read it. Inverted flight. In this lesson, you're going to be performing a couple of different stunts. Ah. We'll start you out with a few barrel rolls. Do a barrel roll. And if that goes well, you can take a crack at flying upside down. What is it, our fox from N64? Do a barrel roll. Classic meme. An ancient meme of days past. All right, pilot. It's time for us to get a little crazy. First, Let's I get want you crazy. to get altitude and head for that checkpoint marked at the end of the runway. Yeah, you definitely want altitude for this, or else you're going to be hitting the floor, the ground, or the sea. Head for the checkpoint. Good. Okay. Let's see what you got. Spin it around. On my mark, oh, on his mark. Wait, I just did two. To the left or right. Okay. Perform a Do a barrel roll. Stones of steel. Yep. <laughs> Nice. Now let's try a few of those Pretty easy. Level out your plane and get ready. I've already done these in previous missions. Level it out. 
Hey, what am I doing? Level it up. I want to see you do three barrel rolls in a row three in a on row. my signal. Watch your altitude on this one. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Just stay okay. away from the building. Three barrel rolls one, in a row. Two. Three. Yay. Very nice. Are you getting dizzy in there yet? Level Go it out. And level out the plane again. Now let's see how you do upside down. Upside down. On my word, roll over the plane and hold it steady. Alrighty. Okay, roll the plane upside Whoop. down. Hold it steady. Hold the plane upside down for several seconds. Alrighty. Can do. Inverted. See the meter going up, the red meter. Inverted. This is pretty cool. Roll the plane right side up. Quickly. Is that us? Great oh work out yes. There today. I'll teach you some more moves next time. First time goes by 20 seconds that time. That was much easier though, because I'm used to doing those. It's easier than landing and taking off doing barrel rolls in the air and inverted flight. It's kind of crazy. 1 minute 30, alright. Knife flight, learn how to fly sideways. Oh my god. That's going to be interesting. Stick and you have to keep your plane steady while rolled over on either side. Perfecting this trick will really come in handy in the later level. Yeah, rudder's good for sharp turning or holding it steady on these uh, sideways tricks. Knife flight, they call it. Let's go. Take off and head for the checkpoint marked at the runway. Then, I'll talk you through it. Already. A knife is one of the harder moves. Yeah. You'll have to keep your wings steady and use your rudders to maintain altitude. It's definitely harder than a uh, barrel roll or a loop-de-loop. Loop-de-loop's pretty easy. When I give you the signal, I want you to try to hold a knife edge with your plane. Alrighty. Okay, perform a knife Let's edge. Let's do it. You gotta hold it with the rudder. Now hold that position. Oh, Don't we're going down. to use your rudders to maintain altitude. We have to get higher altitude here. Let's try and keep it level. Has to be right on. Nope, this is going down. Too far down. It's kind of tricky at first to get the hang of this. You gotta be straight up. It's best to do this over the sea probably because there's no buildings in the way. Hold it with the rudder. That's why you keep it steady, just hold the rudder. When you're you have to be perfectly straight though. See the way the meter's not going up, I'm not perfectly straight here yet. Gotta get it perfectly straight, not into the sea, <laughs> not into the sea. This could take a while. I'm probably gonna have to redo this one. Alright, here we go, perfectly straight now. Level out the plane. It's easy enough if you get it dead on, perfectly Good. straight. Let's see if you can do the same thing on the other side. The other side? side? On my mark, roll your plane over to the opposite side and hold the position. I think we're gonna run out of time okay. here. Perform a knife edge on the other side. It's, it's, it's uh, once you get it, it's quick to... Catch on quicker, you know. Level out the plane. There we go. Well, you're definitely making some progress. Right, well, well can, we can redo that one because once you learn how to do it, it's it's pretty easy actually. Just the first time, it's uh, a little awkward. So we only did that with one second to spur, but I could do it much much faster. I'll just go back to it later. I think. Or will I do it? No, I'll do it again, yeah. Try it again. You can do it much, much faster. This is the, the sprite plane here. You get different skins each time. The the then I'll talk you through. I do you like this little stunt plane? It's different from the one we had in that mission, isn't it? Pretty sure. You can do this a lot faster now. 54 seconds should be no problem. When I give you the signal, I want you to try to hold right, hurry up with the signal. with your plane. Okay, perform yeah, Let's do it. And hold it. Yes, perfectly straight. Perfect. Now hold perfect. That position. Don't forget to use your rudders to maintain straight altitude. Straight up and down. Now level it out. Good. Let's see if you can do the same thing on the other side. I won't R1 on to control mark, your rudders. Roll your plane over to the opposite side and hold the position. Roll it okay. over to the opposite Perform side. Perform a knife edge on the other side. Straight up. We got this. We got this. We're sort of turning slightly. Oh dear. Lost the position. Not good. We're running out of time. Ah, uh, we ran past gold. Could have got gold so easily though. Just had to keep it straight. 
can be disoriented. But you have to use this grind really as your. I think you could have done a little yeah, better out there, but there's always next time. You have to use the grind as your measure to how straight you are. I kept looking at the sky really. So a couple of seconds past gold there. But I won't be doing it again. I'm just uh I'll go back later and do that on my own time. Because I don't want to bore you. That was a couple of seconds out. Flat heading, what's this? Hmm. This obstacle course is That's an obstacle to course. You how to get better control over your, Use your rudders. The course goes around the harbor and you have to stay low to make the checkpoint. Stay you low. Use your rudders to help you make some of the sharp yeah, turns. rudders are for the sharper turns. That's true. They help a lot. It's kind of awkward you get your hands around it while you're trying to turn at the same time. But you do get used to it. I want you to use everything you've learned so far to navigate this course as fast as you can. Alrighty. Watch your altitude, though. This is really a test of how low you can go. How low well can you go? Oh, well, you know, pretty low. Yep. This is a quite a good course, actually. Missing a checkpoint will result in a time penalty. Yeah, you get minus five seconds for each one you miss. I'll try not to miss any of these. Pretty easy so far. The altitude indicator on the radar tracks the height above, above sea level. Where's the altitude? On the radar? There's no numbers though. The center line represents the plane. Keep it below the upper level. The upper altitude line. The upper black line. I see it now. Yeah, makes sense. In order to control sharp turns, use L1 or R1. Rudder control, yeah. In order to make sharp turns. So like this one, this is way sharp. You gotta really hit the rudder here. You, you hit the rudder and use the stick to turn here. You're looking great sharp as hell up. Nearly knife edge. Good job! You could do a knife edge turn. Keep it up! But uh, be slightly faster. I got this. Whoop. Sometimes you can fall the bite a bit. Just have to regain control as fast as possible. Oh, I'm gonna miss this one. No, too far out. See that penalty plus five seconds. Bad times. I was way too far to the right. This is a big, big sharp turn. I want to hit it and then turn. Sharp You're looking right. great out there. Back to the airfield. 207, we're not gonna make gold, are we? Oh, come on, so close to the finish line. God damn it, I can't speed this thing up. Oh, that sucks. I can see the finish line and it just went past. Not a bad run. Five seconds off gold. Yeah, you really have to probably do knife edge turns on some of those to get the best. And that, if I hadn't missed that checkpoint. That would have been five seconds more. So it would have been gold, probably. Oh well. What's this one? Touchdown over here. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to perform an emergency landing. Emergency landing. landing. Remember to begin decelerating. Whoop. He blew up a car. I broke the weight off that one. Not exactly a perfect demonstration. So here I was trying to go for speed at the start. Okay, do you see your checkpoint marked on the radar? You're gonna practice an emergency landing on that bridge straight ahead. Uh-huh. Head for the nearest checkpoint is this one. Really what you should do here is break from this point. Hold L2 to decelerate and descend. Your plane is closer to the fast. target for a better score. I wanted to get this done fast, but really you have to decelerate from the start, which I learned later. So I failed that one to early landing. I didn't get what that means, early landing. Surely I just overshot it. I didn't land early enough. Maybe I touched down too soon. 
Okay, we need to decelerate okay. from here. Okay, you see your checkpoint marked on the radar? You're gonna practice an emergency landing on that bridge straight ahead. All right, let's do it. I think it took me a couple of turns. Slow your approach as you descend onto the road. If you touch down smoothly, your plane is gonna stop pretty fast. Slow it, slow it, slow it. Still too fast. Still far too fast. Did I get that even? I don't think so. No, nope, failed. I think if you hit the curb that disqualifies you, that might be it. There's a certain ring you have to land within around the finish point. And for each uh, couple of meters outside that, you get like silver bronze. I think you can be okay. 10 meters you within it to get gold. You're gonna practice an emergency landing on that bridge straight ahead. Here we go again. How many turns is it gonna take me to get this? Slow your approach and I'm slowing down now. Onto the road. If you touch down slowly, decelerate fast. Here we go. Oh yes, the engine has stopped. Don't start it again. No, no, no. Keep stop, 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 stop. Oh no, 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 no. Overshot again. Yeah. Call that a successful landing. What did I get for that? Silver, I think. Or bronze. It was quite far outside because I started up the engine again, which I shouldn't have done. So that was silver, yep. Not too bad, but could have been better. If you just break from the very start, I think that would be a perfect landing. Loop de loop, that's easy. I've done those. Like the first time I got in a plane. When was that? Quite a while ago. Was it that mission or was it before that mission? Either way, pretty easy. The inside loop can be a little disoriented, so we'll see how you do under pressure. Make sure you start this stunt from a completely level position. It's also important to remember to pull your stick back as straight as you can so you don't get thrown into a spiral. <laughs> so you get thrown into a spiral if you don't pull it right back. It's pretty easy though, you just, just have to pull your stick right back. That's it. Not too complex. It's easier than landing for sure. The marker at the end of the runway. Some pilots find these moves particularly tricky, so it might take you a few tries. Mm, I don't think so. Head for the first checkpoint. Loop de loop. Time to loop de loop. Always make sure your plane is straightened out before you attempt an inside loop. An inside on loop. my mark, pull back hard on the flight stick and hold it. All right, give me your okay. mark. Perform an inside loop. Hold L to perform an inside loop. Here we go. Up and up and up. Let me see the clouds. Get ready to level out the plane. And back the end of the loop. Yeah, just level it up. Really too simple. Bad for a rookie. Let's try it again. That's the simplest move. Just like before. Steady the plane first. Wait for my signal, and then pull back hard on the flight stick. Alrighty. Okay. Perform an inside. Another loop. one. No problemo. Looping. You can see it there. Get ready to level out the plane when you're near the end of the loop. Level it out. All right. Now we're talking. You're doing good so far. I think we can squeeze in. You want to make sure you're not. We'll combine the inside loop with the barrel roll. Oh my goodness. To perform a roll off the top. You want to make sure you're not. With an inside loop, but only go halfway. When you're fully inverted, then roll the plane over. Right, he keeps now, talking. When I give you the go ahead, yank the flight stick back as hard as you can. I want to make sure you're not near any buildings, so I'm getting away from buildings here. Or mountains. Roll off the top, so it's half a loop with a barrel loop. Or half loop. I should have been looking at this. No, no, no. That's bad. Should have been looking at the red bar there that says half loop, so whenever that fills up, then you know when to do the barrel loop. Roll it over. Yeah. Is that it? But passable. Keep practicing. I think I could do a lot better than that, time-wise, definitely. Now that I get that, it was a bit tricky. Because I didn't realize you had to... At the time, I was uh, not looking, paying attention to the friggin' bar. The red bar. That says half loop. It fills up, and when it's at the end, your half loop's complete, and then you know to do the barrel roll. Myself Take off and head for the marker at the end of the runway. Some pilots find these moves particularly tricky, so it might take you a few tries. Yep, it has taken me a few. Two. The loops are simple as hell. 
runway. Please make sure your plane is straightened out before you attempt an inside yeah, loop. On my mark, pull back hard on the flight stick and hold it. This is the easy part. Okay, perform an inside loop. He's just time wasting what he's talking. Wish you could have a button that said I already know this. The plane when you're near the end of the loop. You could save some time. Let's try it again. Just like before. Steady the plane yep. first. Plan is steady. My signal, and then pull back hard on the flight stick. Give your signal. Okay. Perform an inside loop. Here we go. Looping. Get ready loop, to loop. level out the Doing plane the loop. when you're near the end of the loop. Loop de loop. Level it up. Now we're talking. You're doing Let's head so towards the sea here. We can squeeze in one more stunt. So don't want to hit any buildings. Inside loop with the barrel roll to perform a inside loop with the barrel roll. Start with an inside loop, but only go oh, half. Shut up and get on with it. When you're fully inverted, tell me to do it, please. Over. I'm running out of time here. When I give you the go ahead, yank the flight stick back as hard as you can. 15 Ready? seconds. Perform a roll off the There we go, half loop. Just look at the bar, just look at the bar and stop. Now Roll it over right and straighten it out. Come on. Yes. Perfection. Good job. 129. Hard to believe you're only a beginner. No and I maxed my flan out. Look at that. 100 of 100. Awesome. So Michael now has max flan. Very useful. Got gold in that. 130. Helicopter course is next. Oh dear. Helicopter's a bit tougher. For sure.